hey uh how, hi uh hi my gators um you know with the new release of velma i thought i'd just you know throw my schmied into the ring and tell you which ones i think are you know top tier scooby-doo series <coughs> all right let's get at it um let's start with hmm. what are we gonna start with all right let's start with the original scooby-doo where are you i'd give it a B. It's not bad. In fact, I give it an A. There, there's some jokes that land. Some parts are funny. But it's really a product of its time. So it'll lie somewhere between A and B. You guys can be the judge of that. Um, I, I, I guess A for me. Um, what next will we have? Oh, uh... Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo. Let's just give this a C. You know why. I know why. Look. All right. Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo. It, it's it's a fun show. It was great when I was a kid. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. It was great when I was a kid. Um, I never realized how annoying Scrappy Doo was until like I got older and watched other shows where they have like fucking little sidekicks like if you ever seen he-man fucking orko is annoying he's the most annoying shit i've ever fucking seen um what else what else oh we gotta give scooby the mystery incorporated you know that s fucking tier that mm, that that piece of resistance it, it's just crazy i think that's one of the best scooby-doo series on top of there um the only other one I could think of that would be top tier would be What's New Scooby Doo. That theme song alone is just slaps. It's, it's just fucking mm, good. I still listen to that shit. I don't know about y'all, but I, I still like listen to the song as like just its own theme song, standalone song. It's just si si I couldn't believe that Simple Plan made that shit. Uh, what else? What else? Shaggy and Scooby Doo. Uh, it's a C for me. Look, when I was a kid, and this show came out, they didn't really advertise it a lot, so like I barely got to watch it. Um, the parts I did watch were were funny, wasn't that bad. The whole premise of like Scooby and Shaggy being like a spy esque team or something like that was a new direction unfortunately just wasn't marketed properly enough and uh i think it really shows 13 ghosts of scooby-doo uh yeah this this is a b for me um of course you know we got to give it up for Sha uh, shaggy and daphne finally wearing something different you know that was the the fucking fr phase of the jumpsuits for daphne and then the red shirt for shaggy and uh, the whole premise of them like opening a book and finding 13 evil ghosts that was something new something new they tried and you know it, it stuck well i wish it had more episodes but i think they recently just had a movie about this not too sure but it was pretty good it was pretty good um what else let's see uh the new scooby movies Uh, I'm gonna give it a C. Sometimes the, the people they crossed over with just wasn't that funny. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Um, let's see. It's not bad, but it's not good either. It did give us the introduction of uh, well, introduction of Bat Milk. Um, that that episode with Batman I really like when they. When Batman blindfolds Shaggy and then he gives him bat cookies and he's like, You got any milk? He's like, We got bat milk. Ah, uh, Batman, like when we get to the bat cave, could I get a little snack? Yes, Shaggy, we'll all have a snack. Bat milk and cookies for everyone. Bat milk? Um, hmm. The new Scooby Doo Mysteries, I'm gonna give this shit a fucking D. This shit was garbage. It was just rehashed bullshit. I, I like Scooby-Doo, but like, 
come on. You gotta shake it up once in a while. Get this new formula out here. Um Scooby Doo and guess who? Uh I give it an A too. It, it's more or less the same thing. But um they they had some weird guests. Uh like Oh, like how Daphne I think it's Daphne or Velma, one of the episodes. They know Billy Eilish. Which fucking makes no sense. I, I was very confused on some of the shit. One of the episodes had Steve fucking Urkel. Was, I, I guess it was the real Jaleel White playing Steve Urkel, but it's like, it's, it's kind of dated now. But it was, uh, it's, it was pretty alright for dubbing the show. Um, hmm. I wouldn't say I want more episodes of it, but I felt like it just ended on a good note. Uh, let me see. Next one, a pup named Scooby-Doo. Yes, yeah, it's A tier for me. I used to wake up every fucking day religiously to watch this shit. Um, I had... For those of you who never heard of TiVo, um... I had a TiVo. And the TiVo let us, like, record TV and shit like that. And save it for... to watch later. And I would always TiVo every episode of a pup named Scooby-Doo and then watch him, like... When I get home from school or some shit like that. And then I would just be sitting there for, like, hours just back-to-back -back watching these shits. Um, be cool, Scooby Doo. Ah, uh, I'm gonna give it a B. I felt like they tried something new, and I know people shit on it because it has like a Family Guy like art style, but I think that just makes it a little more endearing. Um, I do like how they represent some of the characters, like Daphne. Daphne has a whole new personality, which I kind of like that she's like. Daphne's kind of a weirdo in this shit. She's always messing with puppets for some reason. But I kind of like that. And Fred seems a little more like disingenuous. Like he's fed up with her bullshit. And you know, just they just all have like this nice little tweak in their personality. I don't know. I wish I could see more of that. Um, uh, I'm going to have to go to this one. Alright, Velma. This is, this is a fucking F for me. Just... No, just I, I've watched all four episodes so far. Um, it does not get better. Uh, in the latest episode, she starts twerking. It's 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 not Velma. If it didn't even have Velma's name in it, or any mention of like Scooby characters, this would not be a Scooby Doo show. There's no fucking way in hell this shit would be anywhere associated with any of these. What's the one thing these all shows all have in common? Is that they have okay writing some of them better than others but this shit is just fucking millennial jokes and just dick jokes that's that's it that's all it is like uh all right like in some scooby dude some of these scooby dude shows they like sneak in you and those in here and there and like shit like that but velma i don't know if, if it was just its own show if it was like a parody of scooby doo or some shit like that I, I would have no problem with it. I would have no qualms with it. But the fact that it's supposed to be marketed as a Scooby-Doo show, but just Velma, it's kind of redundant in the way it's written. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me guys, uh, let me, let me know what you guys think of the show and my listing. Um, I will be making videos later. I don't know what I'm gonna do. If you guys have a suggestion on a video. Or a game you want me to play uh go ahead and leave it in the comments i am suggestible to anything but uh thank you guys for watching the video and i will see you next time